Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Uh, I'm here with a finished flip through of this uh, second ring binder journal that I was working on. And um, so I wanted to do a little flip through for you. Uh, thank you to the person who purchased the uh, Sleeping Beauty <laughs> journal. That was awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And uh, very, you know, um, you know, just makes you happy when your journal sells right away. <laughs> And very exciting and um, you know encouraging so thank you for that so this is the second one I had a lot of fun with both of these uh, this one has also washi tape matching the cover and here's the back of this one this is also vintage this was was 1963 book and uh, here's the tassel on this one it's got a lot of blues in it so it matches this is greens and blues and purples and yellows all kinds of beautiful colors here. I love the sun on this one. The sun is a shining star. This was about the sun. Here's a picture of a little village down here. This one has bronze colored um, ring rings and little bronze eyelets. So let's just get started with our flip through. This little, um, as I said in my last one, I'm going to be repeating maybe a couple things, but the tassel is held on with a just a bow pin and it's kind of nice because it's not you know very chunky or anything and just can slide around and the back and just be out of your way also a reminder that when I you know flip through a or use a ring binder journal I kind of flip the little hinge over I kind of twist it and flip the little hinge over to the back of the back cover right there see it's just right there the hinge in that way, uh, everything's out of your way, so you can flip your cover and your pages. And uh, it opens, I have the opening right here. This is where these open. So this is great for, you know, being able to have a lot of flexibility in your journal and open that up, open those up and add to rearrange and whatever you want to do type of thing. So this was a library book from a school. I love the, the pages here. The sunny little um, pages here. They have little suns all over them. This is a, the rubber stamp from the schools. It's neatly stamped and I thought it was cool so I left it. And then um, here's the actual library card. This is right where it was so I just left it there. The little pocket, very clean, right? I guess it was maybe never, <laughs> was it never checked out? I don't know. But uh, here's a, like a brand new looking from 1962 uh, apparently uh, the book the book is uh, library card so that's pretty interesting right you got a brand new library card to have fun with there so I left all the pages from the book in here and I let this book like as well as the Sleeping Beauty book I let them tell me and um, guide me as to the different papers I put in them so like the, light, the Sleeping Beauty book, book was so much fun because I got to put all the pinks and the flowers in that one. You know what I mean? That one was very girly, I would say. And this one's kind of, could go for a boy or a girl, really. I mean, um, you'll, you'll see as I flip through, but I thought, you know, the colors of green and blue. I put some map pages from my atlases, my vintage atlases in here. So here's one here. And so everything in here is original, authentic, you know, nothing copied. Um, if there is anything copied, I'll tell you, but uh, I don't think there's anything copied or um, digital in here. So here's a little pocket I made out of the Atlas page. As uh, you're probably familiar with Atlases, they're usually pretty big, and I have a couple of really big ones that I cut up the pages for this, a couple pages in. So just flipped a piece up here as a pocket. This is a little tag I had made and I had in my stash. You know, I like to prepare my ephemera ahead of time if I can and this is was made from one of the atlas pages a while ago so I got this out to put in here as a tag it has a little bull pin on here with a little bronze key and a little bead this is some this some fabric and some layering of different pieces there so that is in there as a tag this is some scrapbook paper I had with some globes on it and I thought that was very cool here's the back of that and here's another one here a couple pieces of that Actually, these were cut off because I put a page or two of this uh, scrapbook paper in its cardstock scrapbook paper. So nice and uh, sturdy and fun to do something with that. Here's a guest check. So you, you can put different size things in here. And I just put it toward the bottom so I could get both holes, holes punched in. You know, you don't have to have all three punched in. I just put two and there you go. You have a little fun page there. Here's the beginning of the book. 
and uh, so that's a book page. Here's that scrapbook paper I was just talking about with the globes. Here is a bingo card. See how I just put two, if you've never done junk journal like this, just punched in two holes and you have a cool little short page there or a piece of ephemera. Here's a page from the book. Every, it's all in order. Here's a couple, see I put a lot of interesting um, pages in here. This is uh, was a, like an accounting book and this is bank financials. And here's all the lines, all blank, so you could, so you could write whatever you want here. Have some fun doodling or writing your memories down there. Page from the book. This is graph paper here. This is some paper that um, I showed you in my last Thrifty Thursday. It was the Chinese uh, printing, the little books that had Chinese printing in them. So uh, this is the cover of one of those. And here's, see, this is what it was. Classified Collections Facsimiles of Chinese Old Masters, book number 10. It had this beautiful cover on it, so I went ahead and put it in here as a page. And so this um, opens up like this. This was the onion skin, so you can detach this or leave it like this and use it like as a, you know, as a little cover for maybe what you want to put back here. Uh, if you put something colorful back there, you'll be able to see through this kind of like, it's kind of like tracing paper or um, onion skin almost. It might be more like tracing paper. And then this was part of it, so I just left it there. It's a little, a little flip out. So just a fun little page there. And that is cardstock on the cover. Page from the book. This is some um, uh, bridge tally score sheet, one of those. And then this is a page from, this is from the Atlas. I wanted to put a few pages in here like this. Like when I come to a page like this with text on it, I just love it because I, I'm not afraid to cover it up. You know what I mean? I just use this as totally like a blank page <laughs> almost. And sometimes you can use the text as a background too. It's like, you know, kind of need to put something over it and then let the, the text peek out and just use it as a background. So that's that's actually from my atlas, one of my atlases. Page from this book. This is another, you know, map page from the atlas. And that I made, made a pocket on this side. I put in, I was gonna put this in and I thought, well, I'll just, I decided not to, to punch it in and just put it in here. It's, you know, children's writing paper. And so I just put it in here for someone to be able to use that. And then here's some Monopoly pieces. I thought these were would be fun. To, just this whole vibe. I thought it went with the whole vibe of this journal. This is a little community chest card. These are all pick. You know, I picked up all these at thrift stores. This is the um, well. See, there's different games now. Different. There's so many different Monopoly games. So you know, you this is probably from a newer game. So you know, it has that type of community chest. And this is from you know the kind of classic. Monopoly game with the yellow and the orange. Um, the orange is the chance cards, right? <laughs> it says it right there. So, yeah, and those I just put in here. You can make these into tags. You can put little tabs on here. You can punch a hole and put a little, you know, fabric or baker's twine or something. Or you can just make a little tab on the top or just use it as decorating, you know, in your journal type of thing, layering. So, those are just some fun pieces. Um, this is another... Oh, this is a, okay, so what I did here, I'll show you. This is a tabbed divider piece. This one says uh, career. I got it in some kind of a little thing at uh, a thrift store. And so I put it in here as a divider. And what I did, I was going to punch this in, and I decided just to put it over the top here. And it is removable. So you can, you can do what you want with this, but here's the divider page. Let me show you. See, it's card stocky. I punched, I had to punch new holes. I used this center. That was an original hole, and then I had to punch two, two new holes to get it to fit in this, you know, these rings. But I made this as a little flip out, flip up, flip up. But I left it loose, so you have uh, matte paper here, you know, like the contents page from the Atlas. This is a little cutoff that I used as a hinge, and this is an auto uh, repair record, a little booklet that I had picked up at a thrift store, and it's all, this page is all blank, so you have all those little squares and lines to write on but then I just slipped it over the top here so you can you can move it around do whatever you want leave it here whatever <laughs> but it fits right there I thought that was kind of something different I've never done before and I just kind of you know was playing around and it just happened so I left it and I thought it was pretty cool 
um, page from the book. I love all the colors in here. Very, uh, well, it's 1963, but it's also very kind of 70s. This is, um, I guess, 60s and 70s. <laughs> anyway, this is a children's dictionary page. I thought these colors and just the whole vibe of this book, like I keep saying, um, just kind of guided me to use one of these pages. I, when I was thinking about pages, I said I have to put some, and this is a flip out. And then this is a postcard right here. Um, I got a chance, since this was a, like a good size little book here, I put this big postcard in here and it's also kind of uh, travel map related. It's a, is this the Lincoln Memorial? Let me see. Uh, no, this is a, uh, it doesn't say, isn't that weird? It says the state capital, Richmond, Virginia. So it's some type of memorial in Richmond, Virginia there. Oh, it's the state capital. Hello. I just said that. It just reminded me of those big pillars of the Lincoln Memorial. You know how if you've been to Washington, D.C., you know how you see those big pillars and there's Abraham Lincoln sitting in the big chair. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've never been to this one, so I should go there. It's probably not too far away from me. About, about five. Richmond is about five hours away from me, probably. I have been there, just never to the to the Capitol buildings. Uh, so here's another page from my atlas, and this is some ledger. Thought that went well with this, the graph paper, you know. And you have some writing pages, and different, you know. It's just had fun to have lots of different variety of pages. That's a page from the book. This is uh, that that globe paper, scrapbook paper. Here's the envelope in this one. And in here, what did I put? I know I put something in here. Some playing cards. And these were like map playing cards. I thought of these right away when I started doing and putting map stuff in here. I was like, I have to find those playing cards and put some in here because those are perfect. And then I put also in the Sleeping Beauty, but I put them in, put one in this one too as little plastic uh, pouches. This is from, uh, you know, I get these. I usually find these in recipe books when I get them at thrift stores, and so that's what this was from. I made new holes to, you know, again, use the center hole and made new holes to fit into the rings. And it opens on, I think, does it, yeah, opens on both sides. And this is just some pretty paper in here to have fun with. You can put pictures or whatever you want in there. Journal cards, page from the book. This is a little also kind of travel themed, almost, but not really. <laughs> it's a little card that says uh, moved on it. Yes, it's moved and fragile, and this is a little moving card. And I have had these for a while in my stash, but it was perfect in here, I thought. And here's, I want to use some more pages from that Chinese writing book. So, you know, before I use the cover on for the other page, these are actual pages from that. And this is a really neat, I don't know if it's rice paper or what, but it's a really neat feeling paper. Um, I'm not sure how old these are, but they, you can see they have a little discoloration on them, which makes them even um, cooler. So those that's what that's from, that Chinese writing book. Um, this is the page from a book, from this book. This is another divider. I wanted to put a blue one in here because of all the blues and greens. And I have a set of blue of this size and a set of like regular kind of, what is it, the um, off-white or what is that little beige type color. So, but this one I use the blue because uh, there's a lot of blues and greens in here. And it has that tab on there. It has a B tab, right? That one has the B tab. <laughs> this is some paper I picked up a while ago. I was at the thrift store and there's a whole stack of this lined, these lined paper and they're on little paper pads. But I liked them because they have lines and little squares over here. And then the little circles, little dots over here. I don't know, I just liked it for writing paper. And that's this. I didn't cut it down or anything. This is the size it was. So you can cut it. You can do whatever with it. These are some cutoffs actually from the uh, contents pages that I was cutting down to make the size of the journal. But I didn't want to, you know, leave these out. And they're kind of like too bad, big for the bag. I would have had to fold them. So I just went ahead and put them in here as pages. So that's just something you can leave as is or take out and rearrange and maybe scatter them throughout or, you know, collage. It's fun to collage with, um, you know, printed uh, text like that and it's different color. You know, it's not white, it's kind of beigey. 
page from the book here. This is another children's dictionary page here. Isn't that cool? I think that's a golden book dictionary that those come from. And then page from the book, The Happy Sun. Isn't that pretty? That's a beautiful page. And talking about how it's a star and everything. And here's some more. Um, I wanted to make sure there was enough writing paper in here. So we've got ledger, graph here, and then the back of the book. So another beautiful page. This was the, how it was, so I left it because it's so beautiful, right? I couldn't cover that up. <laughs> and there you go. It has a really nice back cover, too. So this, when you see this video, it will be in my shop. Let me show you the goodie bag real quick. So like uh, these two books I kind of made, I kind of tried to make it like a kit. You know, you get your your kind of blank journal and then a bunch of goodies to just really jumpstart you into um, some journaling fun, I would say. Uh, let's see, did I get everything out of here? Yes, I did. I got like my screen bag to match the journal. And then uh, this is an envelope made from advertisements from a vintage 1940s yearbook. Yeah, I just took a page and made some this sewn together right here. In here I have the butterflies and buttons. I try to put butterflies and buttons in all my goodie packs. So, um, and I usually try to put them in a little envelope separate because they just would go everywhere if I didn't. So uh, there's that little envelope with the butterflies and buttons. I have green on the last one I put pink and this one I put green little cupcake papers and again I flattened them out so they would fit in here and you know um, and I usually use these for flowers or you can just use them in clusters or layering or whatever but you know you can cut little petals or whatever you want to do there here's some of my punched flowers I uh, punch out of book pages this is from a Dr. Seuss book the, the what is it the guy with the spots that thing with the spots <laughs> that's from that book I had a really really bad copy of one like it was just torn to pieces and falling apart but I salvaged what I could of the pages and made punched out flowers from most of it <laughs> so and then this is a little journaling card here I just went through my ephemera you know prepared ephemera tags and stash and pulled out a few that I thought would go so this one had a dragonfly kind of neutral colors and you can journal on the back Here's another little piece that's for my stashes. It looks like a check. I think this is printed. Yeah, this one is printed. And then this is from a, actually a folder kind of thing that you use to organize files. And I just got a couple of these recently, and uh, that was it. And so I cut them up and made little journaling cards out of them because I like the red, and I like all the little lines. So that's what that's from. A One of those pretty doilies that I showed you in my Sleeping Beauty uh, pack. A couple little, this is a little Rolodex card that I made. I make them all different sizes, so <laughs> I think that's fun. This is a little drilling, can be a little drilling spot that you can glue down somewhere or tuck in a pocket. Two little matching, you know, the green, and this is uh, orangey color, uh, little uh, coin organizers. This one I put, I put one of these in the last Sleeping Beauty pack too. This one I picked out because it has a, this is, has an owl and it's the green in nature and it kind of went with, and this is also green in nature and the panda kind of went with the um, overall look of this journal. And then several of the, I love index cards. You can cut them in half, you can leave them whole and, you know, write on them, you know, just do whatever, decorate them and use them in your, you know, like this would be a great background for like a photo mat or something, or write on it, whatever you wanna do. But there's several of those, and then this one has the birds, which you can color with anything, color pencil, markers, whatever. This is a nice big green one, a nice big blue one. Here's an envelope that's made out of book page, and it's a very old book page, and I sewed it together and put a little strip, scrapbook scrap Scrapbook paper scrap there on it, and it's also a pocket you can use somewhere. This is also from a very old page. I'm just saying that because they might be a little delicate if you try to, you know, pull on it too much. But uh, this is glued together, and it's got a little label there. So you can glue that down and put it as a pocket somewhere. Here's a little piece of fabric, just in case. You never know. You can use that for tabs or whatever. A little piece of ribbon you can use for something. It's grow grain. A nice big luggage tag blank so I can have all kinds of fun with that a little tag made out of wallpaper 
This is a green, you know, matching the coordinated, coordinated with all the green, pretty greens here. A little paint sample chip. This is some Hello My Name Is uh, stickers. You can write on those and stick them down somewhere and just have some fun with those. Here's some labels, red and white. Some green, again, <laughs> tickets. Uh, you can tell I have fun doing this, right? Even putting the little goodie bag together was fun. But this is a little, kind of like, I think this is actually supposed to be a recipe card, but it's very uh, plain, right? It doesn't have anything about recipes on it. But I think it's supposed to be a recipe card. But it's uh, great for a journaling card, I think. Because it's got all these lines and you can decorate it or just write on it or whatever you want to do. And then this is just some pretty fun paper with polka dots on it. Uh, what, three pieces there to have fun with. So I tried to put as much as would fit in this bag. You can see it's quite a bit chunk of chunk of stuff here so anyway when you see this this will be in my shop and i'm going to go through my books here that i'm trying to this was in my d stash pile these two books the sleeping beauty and this one and like i said when i first started working on the covers i was going to this just the books in my store in my shop and uh i said well, let me just make some fun fast simple you know journals and see you know if you guys want them so <laughs> Since the Sleeping Beauty uh, sold, that, like I said, is very encouraging because these are so much fun. And I just, you know, I need to do something with the books. And I really would prefer to make little journals like this than just list them in my shop. Although I don't mind listing them in my shop at all because one way or the other, they're, um, I'm sharing them, right? So anyway, that is uh, it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Happy crafting. Have a great day.